Hello everybody and welcome to this video where today we're going to be talking about not reading your work. So basically what I want to say to you is this. When you write a poem, now this might not be a popular opinion, but this is how I do stuff. When you write a poem, write it, don't read it, just write it, just get it all out, just like bleh, on the page, do your thing. And then put it away. And don't come back to it until whenever. When you are, whenever the fuck it is, you're going to come back to it. Now, most of the time when I write, I'll write poems. And then I will put them in my spreadsheet, which I've talked about in videos before. And I'll put what the theme of the, the fucking poem is. And then I won't ever look at that poem again until I'm going to publish the chapbook that that poem is a part of okay and i will go back and read the poem at that point and look at it and sometimes i'll go oh wow this doesn't even really fit this theme like i don't know what the fuck this is and then i will change what the theme part on the spreadsheet is and a lot of times if it's so fucking out there i'll just write like miscellaneous like i have no idea what the fuck this poem's about like it's just whatever but if that poem does fit the theme of whatever i'm doing i will like look at it read it and usually more often than not i'm surprised at what i wrote and i'm like fuck look at this fucking badass mamma jamma fucking coming in here writing poems like it's fucking hot you know what i'm saying and then i will do any little critiques or little cleanups like Make sure things are spelt right. Um, if there was any like weird capitalization issues, fix that. Um, take out all the ands and thes and stuff that is not needed to be in the poem to make the poem make sense. Shit like that. And then I put it in the book. And when you look at it like that, it becomes a poem that's kind of written by your favorite poet. Because you go back and you read this thing and you're like, fuck, that was fucking cool. Ah, I don't even remember writing that. Especially if you were like me and a lot of the times when you're writing your poems, you're drunk. So you don't even fucking remember it when you write them anyway. So it's all good. But if you're sober when you're writing, taking some time away before you look at it again, you will sometimes be like, dude, I don't even fucking remember writing that and that's fucking brilliant. I love it. And the reason why you're going to love it is because you wrote it. And you wrote it based on how you want poetry to read. So when you go back and look at it, you're like, fuck, I'm my favorite poet. Holy shit, that's fucking awesome. You know what I'm saying? So that is a really good way to go about stuff. And it takes a lot of that pressure off. Like, I, I, I it breaks my heart when I hear these poets talk about how how hard it is and how stressful it is and how agonizing it is to enjoy what they write because they write it and then they'll start editing it right there and start like tearing it apart <laughs> and some people don't keep copies of the stuff that they do and they just keep deleting shit out of a fucking um, file on whatever program they're writing in and then at the end of the day they don't have anything left and they're like this is garbage now like this is all fucking trash Okay, so write your poems and then get the fuck away from them. Just run, get away and do other shit. Go fucking live life so you could write another poem. Okay, and like to me, I really enjoy going back and like editing and cleaning them up when I'm about to publish it. Like it's it's freeing and it's like reading it's, I swear to God, it's like getting a new book from your favorite poet. And you're just like, fuck, that's awesome. Okay? If you don't feel like you're your favorite poet when you're, like, going through your stuff, you need to, like, think about, like, what the fuck are you doing this for? Like, you should be your favorite poet instead of you being your worst critic. Because that's nine times out of ten, that's what that's what we are to ourselves. We are our worst critics. But at the same time, just changing how you look at your stuff 
you can turn yourself into your favorite poet. You see what I'm saying? So anyway, hope that was helpful. Let me know down below what your thoughts on this are. And, um, you know, keep buying my books. Type hard, everybody. And I will talk to you, beautiful motherfuckers, all later. I just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Crew and my followers on Patreon. I appreciate the hell out of you guys. And thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the crew or the Anarchy Crew, just hit the join button beneath this video. And if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you can run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.